going to be talking about what occurs in an action potential as far as the charges on the inside of the nerve. So if we recall, we said that we had our rest and potential, which was about negative 70. So at negative 70, I have two potassium ions that are leaving the cell. I have three sodium ions that are coming into the cell. And then the sodium potassium pump keeps pumping them out and back in. Okay. So let's talk about now what's going to happen in an action potential. And an action potential that occurs is that's when a nerve is, is basically fired and the impulse travels all the way down the axon or all the way down the sarcolemma, which is the cell membrane of a muscle. So here's our rest in potential right here. We have the sodium gates open and closing for the most part, and we may get little potentials that'll come up and it'll go up a little bit, but it won't be enough to get to right here. This right here is called the threshold. I need to go from negative 70 to negative 55 in order for my action potential to take place. So like once again, if we have little stimuli, that's not enough to get this all the way up there, then action potential will not occur. Now two things can happen here. I can either have a potential or a stimuli, I mean, that goes all the way up here real quick, it can be strong enough to get all the way up there, or I could have something that's for a long enough period of time, it adds up and gets up to here and basically causes the action potential. So once again, we're having sodium gates open here and it drives this up. Now we've reached our threshold potential. And by the way, I've seen, I've seen books that say this is at negative 55. I've seen them say negative 60. So it just depends on, on what books you're looking at. For the most part, most of them say negative 55. At this point here, like we said, I had sodium gates open and closing, but I only had usually one or two, and the impulse doesn't go that far. Once we get to here, what happens now is sodium gates open, sodium gates open, and sodium is going to go rushing into the cell. This is called depolarization. So in depolarization, sodium gates open, and sodium rushes into the cell, okay, into the inside of the neuron is what's, gonna, is what's occurring here. So I have the sodium now rushing into the inside of the neuron. When I get to the top up here, what's going to happen now is I am going to have, I am going to have repolarization. Okay, so over here is repolarization. And what's going to happen in repolarization, my sodium gates that were open are going to close, and my potassium gates, which are closed, are going to open. Remember, sodium's on the outside, so it went rushing into the cell. Potassium's on the inside, so it goes rushing out. So because potassium has a positive charge as it rushes out, it, the uh, voltage inside of my nerve is going to go back towards negative, right? We're at negative, sodium is positively charged. We got to here, sodium comes rushing in with all its positive charges, right? And I get a whole bunch of positive charges, that's why we went up to plus 30 millivolts, right? Now in repolarization, my potassium gates open, and potassium rushes out. At the same time, my sodium gates close. Okay, so my sodium gates close and my potassium gates open. Potassium goes rushing in, uh, rushing out, which brings this down basically to right here. Now, what happens though, is this is even gonna go further than that. So this is going to come down to below here. Now I've seen some books that say this could go down as far as negative 80. I've seen some books that say it goes down as much as to negative 90. I'm just gonna put negative 90 right here. So now we've gone to negative 90. So I've had so much potassium rush out 
that I've actually caused this to go all the way down to negative 90. This is called hyperpolarization. And what's going to happen in hyperpolarization is once we get down to here, my potassium gates are going to close. So my potassium gates close. Okay, because the potassium gates close, now I have no more potassium rushing out. I have no more sodium rushing in, and eventually this comes back to my rest and membrane potential. Okay, so we return to rest in membrane, or let's just say rest of potential. The rest of potential. Okay? So that's what's going to happen there. So we're back to negative 70 over here. Now, here's the thing. The area between the threshold and basically down to here is called the refractory period. So I'm just going to draw it like this. Drop a little line down like this. And go right here. I'm going to call this my refractory period. And during this period, my nerve can't fire it, which makes sense because what's happening is I have gates that are opening and closing. So how could the nerve possibly have another action potential? Refractory period, the nerve can't have another action potential. Okay, and that's my refractory period. So this period from here all the way from here all the way over to here. Okay, so that's basically what's going to happen on the inside as the nerves occur um, or as an action potential occurs. Okay, and so what we'll be doing is eventually we'll be looking at what occurs as this goes down the nerve now that this has happened. And I hope you enjoyed the video.